they didn't get the award, but they certainly got the recognition. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that overshadow Best Picture winners. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at films that received more attention from the public and arguably could have won the Best Picture award, regardless of whether they were actually nominated in the category or not. We aren't saying that the Best Picture winners are bad movies. Far from it, they won the award after all. We're simply stating that these flicks immediately or eventually overshadowed the real winner in the hearts of the public. Number 10, Zero Dark Thirty, Overshadowed Argo. But Bin Laden is there. And you're gonna kill him for me. Argo took home the big prize at the 85th Academy Awards, despite only winning two others, Best Adapted Screenplay and Best Film Editing. However, many people were left disappointed with the movie, especially regarding its various inaccuracies towards the role of the Canadian Embassy and its dramatic exaggerations. While it took home the award, some felt that other movies were more deserving, including Django Unchained and particularly Zero Dark Thirty. Catherine Bigelow's film was widely praised and appeared on many year-end lists, despite some controversy surrounding its depiction of torture. <laughs> Both movies followed political stories, but many believed that Zero Dark Thirty told a more gripping, accurate, and relevant tale. I'm gonna smoke everybody involved in this up. And then I'm gonna kill Bin Laden. Number 9, High Noon, overshadowed The Greatest Show on Earth. This is crazy, I haven't even got any guns. It's one of the greatest westerns of all time versus The Greatest Show on Earth, and we all know which one has stood the test of time. The Greatest Show on Earth was set in the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus and featured wildly extravagant production values for the time. John Ringling North welcomes you to The Greatest Show on Earth! As a technical showcase, The Greatest Show on Earth is undeniably better. However, it is widely regarded as one of the most controversial Best Picture winners. On the other hand, High Noon is lauded for its subversion of Western tropes, won more Oscars than its competitor, and is now widely regarded as one of the best Westerns, nay, best movies ever. Maybe because down deep they don't care. They just don't care. Number 8. The Social Network overshadowed the King's Speech. The Winklevi aren't suing me for intellectual property theft. They are suing me because for the first time in their lives, things didn't work out the way they were supposed to for them. We all saw this coming, yet we were dismayed all the same. For many, the writing was on the wall. <laughs> Facebook pun. Here was a fast-paced, darkly stylish, modern movie about the creation of Facebook. And here was a slow, old-fashioned historical drama about a political radio broadcast. Even a fish could have predicted the outcome. Why should I waste my time listening to Because you? I have a right to be, and I have a voice! That's not to say The King's Speech was a bad movie. Like most of its kind, the acting was sublime, and its art direction magnificent. But The Social Network was the favorite underdog, especially after its Golden Globe wins for Best Director and Best Motion Picture Drama. But nope, the Academy loves them some period pieces. Mark! He's wired in. Sorry? He's wired in. Is he? Yes. How about now? You're still wired in? Number 7, Citizen Kane, overshadowed How Green Was My Valley. How Green Was My Valley is a maudlin movie about a troubled family living in the South Wales Valleys at the end of the 19th century. It won the awards for Best Director and Best Picture, and while it certainly isn't considered a bad film, it pales in comparison to Citizen Kane, which is often considered the most revolutionary and influential movie of all time. It isn't enough to tell us what a man did. You've got to tell us who he was. Many facets of the mystery drama's filmmaking, including its cinematography and editing, set the precedent for future movies, and modern film owes a lot to Citizen Kane. How Green Was My Valley is basically just another forgotten Best Picture winner. You are king in the chapel, but I will be queen in my own kitchen. You will be queen wherever you walk. Number 6, Goodfellas, overshadowed Dances with Wolves. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. <laughs> Back in the day, it seemed as though Martin Scorsese was always being snubbed. In 1980, Raging Bull infamously lost to ordinary people. And in 1990, his gangster tour de force, Goodfellas, was defeated by Dances with Wolves, the Kevin Costner movie about a Union Army lieutenant and the Lakota people. Dances with Wolves is a great movie. The production values are stellar, including authentic Lakota dialogue, and it reinvigorated the popularity of the Western. But it's arguable that Goodfellas has better stood the test of time. 
It's now considered a masterpiece of the crime genre, whereas Dances with Wolves has arguably been left in the 90s, a winner perhaps based on more political than artistic reasons. It's gonna be a good summer. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, Saving Private Ryan, overshadowed Shakespeare in Love. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! This is easily one of the biggest upsets in Academy Award history. Spielberg had created a modern masterpiece, a war epic that terrified and touched in equal measures, Shakespeare in Love was a slower period piece with suitably appropriate production values. Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? On one hand, it seemed like prime Oscar material. On the other hand, Saving Private Ryan was so esteemed that many believed it could overtake the Academy's penchant for literary period dramas, despite being a period drama itself. Move your men off the and despite it winning the Golden Globe for Best Motion Picture Drama and the Oscar for Best Director, the coveted award went to Shakespeare, and movie fans haven't shut up about it since. Ourselves included, apparently. It doesn't make any sense, sir. Why? Why, me? Why do I deserve to go? Number four, Apocalypse Now, overshadowed Kramer vs. Kramer. Smells like... Victory. Like The King's Speech and The Social Network, anyone could see this win coming from a mile away. Apocalypse Now is a very dark and challenging movie about the horrors of Vietnam and the depraved depths of the human psyche. Kramer vs. Kramer is a movie about the struggles of divorce starring Academy favorites Dustin Hoffman and Meryl Streep. Ted, I'm leaving you. While it was an important movie for its time, particularly its challenging of parental roles, it hasn't had nearly the impact that Apocalypse Now has had on the art of film. Many people consider Apocalypse Now not just a movie, but also an experience, a fantastic representation of what the medium of film can achieve. Horror has a face, and you must make a friend of horror. Number three, Brokeback Mountain, overshadowed Crash. I wish I knew how to quit you. Brokeback Mountain, a movie about two men's forbidden love story, were released at a time when homosexuals were still not that often represented in film. It swept award ceremonies, taking home Best Picture and Best Director at the British Academy, the Golden Globes, and the Critics' Choice Awards. If you can't fix it, Jack, you got a standard. For how long? It was nominated for eight Oscars, the most nominations of the year. Its Best Picture win was seemingly a lock, so many people were left stunned when Crash won with some arguing that Brokeback's pro-gay themes challenged the conservative academy. You embarrass me. You embarrass yourself. Even Crash's writer and producer, Paul Haggis, admitted that it should have won, and in 2015, a re-polling of the academy resulted in Brokeback Mountain winning over Crash. This is a one-shot thing we got going on here. Number two, Psycho overshadowed the apartment. The mirror, it's broken. Yes, I know. I like it that way. You guys remember The Apartment, right? It was that movie with timeless villain Norman Bates, and arguably the most famous scene in the history of cinema. Oh, sorry, that was Psycho. <laughs> the Apartment is that comedy about a man who allows his superiors to use his apartment for affairs. It's a great movie, winning five Academy Awards, including Best Picture. In any other year, this may not have been notable, but this was the year that Psycho was released. Psycho paved the way for sex, violence, and depravity in film, and it arguably began an entirely new genre, the slasher. Nothing against the apartment, but it's hard to compare to the sheer influence of Psycho. We all go a little mad sometimes. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You okay, Margie? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just morning sickness. I'm not missing you yet. You will. You, you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Say, who is this Peggy Stevenson? She's a girl. I didn't think she was a kangaroo. Number one. 2001 A Space Odyssey, overshadowed Oliver. Please, sir, I want some more. There's no denying that Oliver is delightful. It features some incredible musical numbers, and it appeals to a wide range of audiences. That said, it's arguably aged rather poorly, and some can't help but see it as just another musical. <laughs> Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey is a timeless masterpiece. 
as relevant and technically ambitious today as it was back in 1968. The movie proved to be a huge influence on future filmmakers, like Spielberg, and it paved the way for mainstream acceptance of science fiction, which exploded in the following decade. Well, I must say, you guys will certainly come up with something. Oliver can't help but blend in. 2001 redefined what a movie could be, and to think, it wasn't even nominated for Best Picture. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.